So Laura, we were just checking because we are not going to have a quorum for doing any business. Helen has to leave at nine. Um, yeah, and so more of just digging in to talk about, uh, jump, you know, having an informal meeting where we don't discuss any business um, and just review the contractor process and go over the fundraising strategy. Um, if that sounds, that sounds good. So the, one of the things that we were thinking about for this meeting was talking about specific individuals and the question was uh, whether we could go into executive session to do that. Do If we're not having an official meeting. I would, um, can't go into, yeah, you can't do that. So we'll postpone that part of it, but we okay. can talk about- But there's still some other it. updates to talk about there too. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. All right. So no motions, yay! This is no, what no minutes. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Well, no. Michael, <laughs> no I have been practicing at home. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no late night sending out of the of the minutes at the last minute. So, <laughs> well, you've got it already. It's perfect. We're, now we have, you know, at least a week, two weeks to to review it all. Okay. Um, so should we just dive in and see how much we can get done before nine, before Pellin has sure. to head out? Yeah. So contract process, Cameron, can you take it away? So I just wanted to let you know, basically I sent out an email, but yay, council approved your, um, you know, your proposal, your pick for the, I know it's very exciting, your pick for the RFP, um, vendor. And so now, um, I just sort of wanted to check in. Um, what I'll do is sort of draft a, first off, I'm gonna reach out to them and ask them if they have like any sort of set template for contracts that they use in the past. That will make my job a thousand times easier. Sometimes places will give those out, sometimes they won't, um, but I'm hoping that they will. And then we will use uh, your RFP as a template to say, here are the services so basically using their phase one um, proposal that they gave y'all and okay. sort of crafting that into um, a, a formal contract that we sign that has dates and um, you know the funding trends, when, when do you get paid, how do you get paid, that kind of detail. Um, so I'll start crafting that this week and then it won't be, I, I can tell you right now, I won't have that ready by next Wednesday. So it might be best to push that. And I guess I'm, if that's something that is just going to be based off of their phase one proposal, like, do we even need to review that or? I would like, like you to, okay. so yeah, that I you think, can I see think, it. I yeah. think we should, right. I, mean, I definitely I like, um, don't want to, I, I'm, I can act on your behalf to do things like that, but I would hate, I, I can't just push that through without getting y'all's approval of that. So, okay. yeah. And then the, we'd put it on a consent agenda just so that council could see the whole thing. Okay. Yeah. But so overall, we would still be, you know, looking like we could get started in in October if we yeah, would get this passed. I will. We September. will for sure have the the contract. Um, I, my goal is to have it like signed by them, signed by us, put in, uh, or before we get signed by us put it on the city council agenda. I'm, my goal is the 23rd of September, if that sounds right to y'all. Mm -hmm. well, I, I think the 9th of September would be a little over enthusiastic to have like the contract done and put Yeah, it yep. But then if they approve the contract, then it gets sent to the contractors. We right? There's no it. like... They just sign it, okay. And yeah, they they would be start. they would be involved in this process. It's not just like I write something. Okay, you know, that's I guess know. what I was wondering because like yeah. for you know work stuff signing contracts is always like it's like back and forth, and back and forth, and so great. <laughs> okay. Does anyone else have any other questions about that? Sorry, I was misunderstanding. So. Um, uh you, Cameron, um, at one point we were talking about Bill being authorized to sign. He signs the contract for the city. Is that yeah. is that the way that works? Okay. Mm -hmm. The council approves it, he signs it, and then we're ready to go. All right. Okay. I just then, like, 
I like the transparency, and this is such an important political thing. I really want to push the transparency on that. Yes, no question yeah. about that. Awesome. Thanks, Cameron. Yeah. So my goal is to have the first draft, y'all, looking at my calendar. Um, maybe by the 2nd of September. Well, I'm going to be on vacation that week and sitting on a beach, but I'm so should. jealous. I know it's like, you know, my, my pod just on the beach. It's going to be great. Um, so, <laughs> um, but yeah, someone else. Yeah, that'll be great. All right. So Shana is excused from having to read that, <laughs> read that on a beach. <laughs> Cool. Okay. Thank you, Cameron. Yeah, should we talk about fundraising? Okay. Cool. So I guess to start things off, I sent these um, the questions that we come up with last time to Susan and Keisha and Tabitha, and um, they got back with some answers that I was like, can I forward these? I don't think so. So I'm just going to read them. And because one of them in particular is sparking some other questions for me. So, um, so first of all, um, our, you know, looking at our, our goal for, you know, raising $12,000 by January from, from our community and from independent foundations. They put some more foundation proposals on the spreadsheet, which I'm sure you saw. And one in particular, they as looks like they were like, you should definitely be applying to this one, which is not pulled up on my computer yet. Um, but the Bay and Paul Foundation. Oh, right? yes, right. Oh, yes. you know them? Okay, yes. great. I mean, I know them through um, mostly through historic preservation stuff, but <clears throat> um, it's just a good, good bunch of people. So awesome. Good. So Michael, can I put you down as like the bottom line CJAC member? The the bottom line CJAC? Like a uh, person oh. to like make sure we get the application in and stuff. Oh, yeah. Okay. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Like, and it, just if you have what the relationship with them. I'm sorry. Excuse me? They and they, Paul. Right. Nope. It's, it was, there were two that were separate ones and they joined together. And I just shared the spreadsheet in the chat. Um, I don't recall seeing the spreadsheet, but um, and that's because I've been sort of out of touch with all the people who've been visiting me. So, so, so no uh, worries. Uh, I may ask you, I may have to ask you to send it again. I'll look around and see if it's still in my email. Oh, I just put it in the chat. So you should oh. just be able to click the link. Oh, in the just chat. now. Okay. Yep. All right. Okay, good. Yeah, because I didn't have it pulled up either. So, um, so we'll we'll dive in more deeply on that in just a minute. Um, I just wanted to check in about this next question, which was about we, we had asked about urgency. You know, we had said we're moving our timeline really heavily into FY twenty one, um, and like, would they be feel comfortable moving FY 21's activities to FY twenty two for if there's budgetary reasons or things like that that would impact the outcomes of this project. And their response was, um, I'm just going to read it. The most important thing is to make steady progress and continue to communicate in a variety of ways with the community so they know what's happening and what's next. The paradox in all of this is it feels really very urgent right now, and these issues have been with us for hundreds of years. Maybe a way to think about urgency has less to do with a tight timeline and more to do with a commitment over time to see what works, see the work through. Um, so I think that, um, to me, I, I just want to interpret that as like, let's try to go on the timeline that we have. If we don't, that's okay. I really like that answer from them. I think that's really comforting to hear that they're going to be flexible with their timeline. Do you mind forwarding me that? Oh, I can just forward it to you. Okay. Yeah. Just because that will help me on contracting timelines. Yeah. Well, you're gonna send it then, to, are you going to send it to all of us? Yeah, you probably can. Let should. Sorry. Words. Good. 
confused about that. All right, I can forward that along. And then just, yeah, the other two questions were, does 5,000 seem right for incidentals and incentives? And they said, yep, that sounds right. They just suggested calling it stipends, not um, in, like uh, incentives. Um, so I changed that language in our two pager. And then for the virtual house parties, they want to hear more and how they might participate. So that sounded great. Yes, that would be so, nice to have them there. That would be great. Yeah. yeah. Let me forward this real now, right now, real quick. Um, Isn't Keisha Ram also like um, running for a seat somewhere? She, she's in the house, yeah. isn't she? Oh, she just she? ran for, for state senate from Chittenden and won oh. the primary. She was the number two vote getter for the six seats, so she did great. And so she'll have to win in the general, but it's presumed that she will. That's exciting. Good for her. Yeah. First woman of color in the senate, too, which is, I did not realize until after the election. Whoa. Oh. Cool. Um, okay, so I just forwarded that. Thank you. Sorry, I'm being slow on my fingertips right now. Okay, so then dig into foundations. Um, so I was thinking if, if we do want to raise, you know, 12,000 by January, foundations take a really, it's a slow turnaround time, right? Mm -hmm. um, so of really starting to do the fundraising before we have the contract fully set. Um, and so for, you know, for some of these foundations, I put in as many of the deadlines as I could find here. Um, and then, yeah, there's a couple of individuals here as well, which, um, Michael, you know, maybe like you and I can talk individually about doing mm -hmm. outreach to them. Um, and then Julia put in some foundations and then, yeah, Creative Discourse has put in a couple as well. So the only um, ones that were, had hard deadlines were the Vermont Community Foundation Spark Grant, um, which is October 15th. So like plenty of time to start thinking about and then uh, National Life is not until like March 31st. So plenty of plenty of time, <laughs> um, which is kind of a bummer. But everything else looks like it's rolling and either you know quarterly or monthly. So it's like as just as soon as we can get them in, the sooner that we can hear back from them. Um, and so I was wondering if we could just go through the, like how, just get a sense of how comfortable people are with like, the process of getting grants of like calling them up and like pitching the program of writing the grant and you know and then circulating it to the team for feedback or if we should have it be like a foundation's team who just does all of them and can copy and paste um well i was definitely thinking that we could write well, my thought process for y'all would be to have a big narrative like a communal narrative that mm -hmm. you could draw from so no one's starting from scratch so I think that can be really hard and intimidating. Yeah. So like whoever writes the first one kind of gets the ball rolling, has the, gets the memo. <laughs> so Michael, yeah, you've applied to the Bay and Paul Foundation for um, other things, you know, and I, I have well, it was, my it first was one of these for work. Yeah, so yeah. It was a while back when I was still associated with the Historical Society, so that's now some 20 years ago. But I did, did know did know some of the people involved in that. Um, okay. Maybe they'll remember having met me. <laughs> so, um, but at least I know who they are and I know what, the, what kinds of things they've been doing. Um, I should tell you, I, I had promised to get the, 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 the Vermont uh, Foundation directory um, Oh, it's, yeah. at, it's at the state library, and they said uh, I could borrow it into a library loan. I had to convince the Kellogg Hubbard Library people that I could do that. Um, <laughs> uh, and so they, they put it on the list, and I'm waiting. That, I, I contacted them right after our last meeting, so I'm, I'm still waiting to hear that they've got it. Um, and as soon as they do, then I'll start doing some research and I guess I can just circulate memos to you on, on other things I come up with. We don't have to discuss each one, right? That sounds great. Okay, thank you. So as soon as it arrives on my desk, I'll start working on it. 
Thank you. Cool. And then should I get started with like starting a start a first draft for like the Ben and Jerry's Foundation? Would that make sense? It's like probably going to be a pretty, sh it's, I think it's a pretty shorter on the shorter end of the applications and just to kind of come up with some of that template language. Okay. That would be really great. If you could. Anything else here? Then we'll talk about the individuals and the house party in a moment. So, when did you say the deadline for the Vermont Community Foundation is? October. October fifteenth. Okay, and the National Life is in March. You said. Yeah, it looks like the applications open January first to March thirty first. Okay. So earlier would be better, but but I feel like this is like a really phenomenal list. This is like a really extensive, you know, and if we get two of the big ones for set, you know. Um, cool. All right, okay. All right, should we talk about online contributions? I don't have an answer for you, but I, and I apologize for that. No, we'll just. The director is out right now on vacation, uh, well deserved, um, but I just don't have clarity on that yet. Cool. Well, but so for individuals, they can start writing checks, right? You can write checks uh, for sure. <laughs> But we have to, Great. Let's but we, get individuals but, to start. But we have to checks. know. Don't we have to know to whom they write the check? I mean, um, uh, are we? we the, the question of whether we, the the Montpelier Foundation would be the kind of the fiscal agent for this was the last. They don't have to be. My thought, my understanding of this is that it's it's city money, so they can and the city is a, uh, a tax deductible donation. So it would just be the city of Montpelier and then you can on that little line write like social economic justice committee. We'll make it go to where it needs to go. Oh, uh, memo, okay. Because that's what we were doing through the, uh, for a while one of my other committees was getting funding, like getting donations and we were just doing it through our CJC department because they had a, a fund line for donations. But y'all okay. have your own fund line. So in our budget, so it could just go to that line. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I, I once for a friend's birthday, I, I wrote a check to uh, the, the, the tree board and just put it in. Um, so I, I, that's good that we can do it. That's the simplest way. It's, easy. it's very, it's small, to, small governments are, are pretty flexible when it comes to things like this. So it's, that's good. Yeah. One of our many strengths. Also, okay. we'll take people's money. That's not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Cool. Well, um, so maybe we won't do like our Facebook fundraiser yet or something like that, where we can just take the money online. Um, I, but, I will uh, have an answer for you for by next meeting. I, I, I will. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, but, but for these like meetings with individuals and for organizing for the um, the fundraising events that we've got coming up um, I'm yeah I guess I'm I'm, I'm, I'm worried I'm wondering about how we should go about organizing those like should that just be like a, another a small group of people to like set the agenda and to and then you know plant like push forward the recruitment or yeah what should that look like do you guys think so we have a proposal should we just do it all together right now I'm not, I'm sorry. I'm not sure what it is that you're asking it right right now. No, yeah, we've got a couple of things for like individual contributions coming up, right? So like posting right. them from perform, getting people just to get donate, having one on one meetings with major donors, right. and then organizing these online information sessions. And I guess all of a sudden, I was just thinking, why do we all need to be in on all of these conversations if we should just like break up into committees? But since there's only five of us here right now <laughs> let's just let's just do let's just dive in and do it online all together um sorry for thinking out loud here um 
just, so for the just, online, oh, yeah. Just a reminder, Orca is 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 uh, recording us, so we have to be yep. careful about um, you know naming names and things like that. Yeah. No. Great. Um, no, just we have these three online information sessions and fundraisers um, tentatively on our calendar for September, and um, I think the things that we should be thinking about to organize them is like the program. Um, so like who we want to be speaking at it, what we want them to say, um, what, you know, what our kind of goals are for fundraising at these events or following these events. And then recruitment. So if, like individual, like re retail recruitment and then, you know, posting on from Forge Forum, uh, posting on social media, things like that, of that kind of wholesale recruitment. Other kind of buckets of things that we should be thinking about for these information sessions. Is that something just like if we do it by Zoom, is that something that um, the city could host or is that something that we should host separately? We can we can do logistics that. Not a problem because if you if you don't own a subscription to um, Zoom, it caps you at like 45 minutes and it kicks right. And that's a pain. And we have the subscription and there's no reason I can't do that for you guys. And then you can have unlimited time. Yep. Although let's try to keep them to an hour. That seems yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it, what, yeah, what do folks want? What should we be saying in these meetings? Well, I think you start by so passing out the prospectus um, because that going through really, it. and and we can go through it, summarize it, but really um, having it, them having the guests have the, the document in their hands or on their screens will we'll shortcut that, and we you know we yep. can sort of do a one you know one a one. I think Shana, you, you need to be uh, the, the the sort of the featured person because you're chair of the committee, so. You can hand things off, but I think you should start it and you know provide the the, the general context for it, and then we can quickly uh, go to you know what how much our goals are, um, mm -hmm. what's our timeline, um, and then ask and then go to questions. We don't really need to spend a lot of time. I think. Um, yeah, I think that's a good point. Here. Wanting to know what people's questions are and like what yeah. the concerns of the community are. And if Ke 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 Keisha and um, Sue could be there, that would be ideal. Yep. And uh, should we have? Can... Oh, go ahead, Helen. Yeah, we can talk about the outcomes of the project, yeah. right? What will happen when they give money or when they donate? So, uh, what are the outcomes? I think we should be very clear and specific about them. So it will make them uh, to be sure, right? Something is working uh -huh. as a result of this project. Yeah, people maybe, want to know what they're going to get. Yeah, maybe yeah. three, four, you know, not too long, but very catchy, you know, very specific uh, three or four outcomes. Yeah, I'm just, I get, feeling like this is going to be just like a, another city pan i'm just trying to think of like how it can be more like if this was an in-person meeting what i would love to do is like have people like break out into small groups and like draw their vision of what montpelier looks like or like start getting into like maybe some of the actual like work of it and i don't quite know how to do that virtually but you know of also having people like actually engaging with the the the, our goals right um well so shana my my question to that is we're we're paying this group to do right. those information sessions. They're the subject matter expert. They know how to walk people through these difficult conversations. Thank you, Cameron. Yeah. I, I'm just like, your goal is to try to make sure we have enough funding to keep that work going. And so I think they're, they're two quite different goals. And I'm not sure, like, I wouldn't be comfortable if I was in a meeting with the goal of asking for donations but I wouldn't be comfortable facilitating a conversation because I don't know what to do if it gets rowdy, yeah. right? Like on Zoom, my I, you just mass mute everyone and then say you're sorry and then run away. I, you know, like, <laughs> you know, 
know how to, to navigate those difficult conversations in a way that I think would be unharmful. And I caution us from doing that work when we kind of don't know how. Well, I don't know how, can't speak for all y'all, so. No, yeah. Thank you for saying that. Is there any way to make it just not like talking heads on a screen then though, or make a little bit more? It's hard in our, our, in our current reality. I know. You're asking for money. Yeah. <laughs> right, we're only, we're only trying to do this for an hour. And so, you know, um, I think the, the main thing is, and if it takes less time than that, all the, all the better, but I think mainly just sort of laying out, you know, sort of who we are and what, what this project is about and what the timeline is and what the budget, and then, then trying to get to their questions, because that could be very helpful for us when we start to do first, you know, one-on-one -on -one visits. Um, getting some sense of what people's, you know, what some of some of what we get back as questions that we might be want to be prepared to answer, because um, there may be some questions that they have that we are not yet prepared to answer, because we don't really know enough about how CD works. So, you know, once we know more about their modus of mode op of operations, we, we might be able to answer other some questions that come up. But, but I think having an interaction, I mean, it, you know, it, um, it worked, it seemed to work okay with the uh, Chief Pete to be, you know, Q&A. Um, oh, right, so but what, of just doing it as Q&A. I'm swayed. Was... Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do something cute and fun, but we don't, we don't no. need to. Okay, so I think our agenda is, yeah, introduce CJAC, go through the prospectus and having clear and specific outcomes. Um, go over our yeah goals timelines then have questions and then have the pitch for funds does that make sense also make sure we include pellens outcomes so goals timelines and predicted outcomes yep uh, i need to leave soon you need to head out Sorry, yeah. yeah it's work related meeting nice to see no. you see you next good time to see you. Bye -bye. good bye. luck thank you thank you bye-bye no riches back in person. Um, okay, and then should we talk about recruitment? So, like, do we want to have people register before coming or can they just click the link to come? I think you, you, you shouldn't limit it. As many as, because Zoom you can have right. people. And we want hundreds of people. Uh, the only tricky part I think is if people don't register and just hop on a Zoom, you don't always know who they are and like the name might just be iPhone or something. So if the benefit of a registration was just like at least even put your email address, then if somebody hopped on and you could send them a, here's the information afterwards. And we can send them the link to donate. <laughs> but well, yeah. yes. we, uh, we've noticed, I mean, Lauren, I mean, that you but, haven't given yet, so. <laughs> <laughs> but then Not that's- Not people, but sometimes people right. might be interested, but then you don't know how to get in touch with them after. Exactly, yeah. right. And, and if they register, then we have, a, we have a list of people once we know, once we, if we have a registration. And, um, and we know we can- And even that list of people for, once we get into it, they obviously show right. some interest in this or so make sure they know about community events or things. Right. But yeah, I don't think we need, definitely shouldn't, don't need to limit the numbers or anything just as like a kind of click here to get the link, put in your name and email address. Great. I'll work on, then, I'll work on that. Yeah, and then uh, Cameron, I also, I do have a personal account, you know, I, so I also, I can host if I get hit by bus or something, then that would be a problem, but Otherwise, well, if you want to, if you want to do that to take the city out of it entirely, I, yeah. Well, no, what's what? What? What do you folks? What? What's? Well, we are a city committee. Committee. Uh, yeah. And I, and I don't see any harm in using the and city. having it be through the city. Okay. Right. Be, be, because um, for one thing, it does give some legitimacy to what we're doing, and people can say, "Well, are these bunch of scam artists who are just trying to raise money <laughs> right. to go to Bermuda for something?" Or you know. Um, but and I and I do think that we need to emphasize the fact that we are an advisory committee to the city 
city council and you know that, that you know that may that might uh, send some people scurrying away because they don't trust government or something like that but not likely the people were not likely for the people were that we're likely to ask i think and that the people who don't want to are the people that creative discourse are really going to go after right mm -hmm. So you don't have to worry about getting run over by a bus, Sheena. Right. No, that's. <laughs> I mean, I don't. <laughs> don't even like say that out loud. I know. Just step 2020. Off, step Here off we the go. Be over yeah. <laughs> make sure to look both ways and all that kind of stuff. But <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, but then I guess yeah. So then once we have the like an online link to donate or something like, because I, I guess I wouldn't want to send out a whole bunch of registration without having an easy way for people to give with that registry, you know, so it's like, people are like, oh, I'm not interested in coming to an event, but I do, I'll just, you know, give 50 bucks now, you know, like if there's just going to be an easy way for people to contribute. So maybe we'll hold off on talking more about the recruitment until I, I will, I will figure that out. Are you Cameron? No, that no worries. Out. We, we really, we, we appreciate that. <laughs> Um, but like overall, just thinking like from Porch Forum posts, we all posted on our like social media networks of Montpelier justice -y things and on the city and like all the, all the usual places, right? Like, I don't think we need to like go up above and beyond and like get an ad in the bridge or something like, right? Because people aren't going to like type in the Zoom link to, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, anything else that we should think about for the, these online information sessions and fundraisers? And um, I, I saw that you had scheduling on the agenda, Cameron, but I think we have the tentative dates on yes, the calendar that's, already, that's, don't that's we? In, that's in the minutes, the, uh, the, okay. three, day, the three days that we uh, tentatively agreed on. Um, September, September twentieth, twenty second, and twenty third. Um, on the three dates that we we agreed on: Sunday the twentieth at four p.m., Tuesday the twenty second at seven p.m., and Wednesday the twenty third at noon. Do we need to change those, or are those? No, I just I sorry. No. It's just in there because it was in there. You didn't have the notes. No, just kidding. Fair enough. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm being sassy. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Oh, my I... goodness. Um, I, you know I'm not going to look over the notes before we get into the meeting. <laughs> so well, I just, I, like, I, I knew that <laughs> then I thought, it, but at least I get them off of my desk. <laughs> Great. Okay, so I'm going to um, write a draft or like, you know, messaging memo essentially for writing the um, the grants. And Cameron's going to figure out if we can, how we can go give online, and then we'll come up with the, and get like the registration links and things for these events. And um, then we'll come up with the recruitment um, stuff. Dot memes, is that what they're called? You know, like posts and language and things mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think on our next uh, call agenda, it's going over the minutes of our, of that, that Michael did send out. Um, and then um, reviewing the plan for recruitment and for holding these three events. And then reviewing the Mass the the foundation language and things. Does that? It's really just like a follow up from this call. I feel like. Is there and any I other agenda have, items? If we're not meeting until the second, do you want to meet next week or do you want to wait two weeks? I don't think there's anything super urgent on this. Because if um, we wait until well, September second, I will be able to give you some basic contract drafts. Oh yeah. 
just a question about if we don't meet before then and and the uh, events are in the 20 on the 20th etc does that give us enough time from September 2nd to the 20th to get in the word out quickly or I think so because hopefully by the second I will have the links, the register links, how to donate online, all sort of to give to okay. you as a package Good. to share all that right. information. Fine. Okay. Just I, I apologize, trying to build realistic timelines for myself. No, no, that's not that's not the issue at all. I mean, I, okay. um, I just was wondering how much time do we need to for to get out the word and to get a sense of who's coming is the, is all that's on my mind. Okay, no meetings are better than meetings. <laughs> I've never lamented the the cancellation of a meeting. I should say. <laughs> um, okay, so we're going to go over the contract graphs, the program plan, the recruitment plan, and drafting um, the and, and the draft uh, proposal. I'll just send at a time. And then, yeah, like Michael, could you facilitate that meeting? Can you facilitate and take notes? Uh, sure. Yeah. And I'll help with notes, Michael, no worries. I know that. That's good. It's good to have a backup. <laughs> okay. Awesome. So you'll send, will you, you'll send the agenda out or uh, you'll be away when? No, Cameron usually sends the agenda out. Okay. So. All right, that's good. All right. Super. Okay. Thank you all. No, look at that. Never lamented a short meeting, never lamented a canceled <laughs> meeting, no meeting. Now, I, I should ask, even though we're not going to post them, would you like to have um, notes from this from this meeting? Mm. Is it necessary? You know, it's just another midnight candle to burn, is all. <laughs> um, it's technically, notes aren't necessary, but um, for I usually, in my other committees, posts, we generally discuss this because yeah. I want it to be, so it's not like specific notes. It's just, in general, we discuss these things, no motion, right, right. Or it's not a quorum, so. If you don't mind, that would be good, I think, okay. because I like to keep them up for transparency. We did sort of convene a discussion of folks, so. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Well, thanks, you Thank all. you all. All right. Th thanks. Good to see you all. Bye. Nice. Oh, Bye. <laughs>